Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center and today we're going to take a look at the brand new 2015 Kawasaki Versys 1000 and this is new to us here in the United States and I, I've really been looking forward to this bike coming in. Uh, this thing is just a fantastic bike to ride. I just took it uh, for just a, a little short ride down the street but I just love the feel of it. Uh, the seating position is very comfortable. I'm not very tall. I'm five foot six with a 30 inch inseam. Uh, this bike has a 33.1 inch seat height when it's off the center stand. And uh, I didn't have a problem riding this bike at all. Of course, I'm an experienced rider. I definitely don't sit on it flat footed. But uh, I would have no problem riding this bike. It's uh, The seat's not too tall for me at all. Uh, these are, the motor in this is based on the Ninja 1000 Z1000 power plant, so 1,043 cc's inline four cylinder motor. So you can see those four exhaust headers there. Digital fuel injection. I'm pretty sure this is a Ram Air on this bike. No, I don't think there's Ram Air on this particular model. Uh, does have ABS, it has the uh, uh, and Kawasaki traction control. Uh, you've got a little more suspension travel on this bike that you norm than you would normally find on a uh, street going bike. Uh, the wavy style rotors, the pedal style rotors, Kawasaki calls them. Those cuts in the rotors allow for more surface area, area to dissipate heat. Uh, next generation KYB front forks. Uh, 549 pounds, and that's curb weight, so that's with fluids, 549 pounds. Uh, does come standard, I believe these are 28 liter saddlebags, and it does come standard with those. Uh, quick release, so uh, uses the same key. Uh, the ignition key fits the saddlebag, so one key, which is really nice. You simply pull up on this lever, give the, the bag a little push backwards, and the saddlebag comes right off really easy to put on and off. I'm doing it one-handed while shooting this video. And then uh, just like that the bag opens. I believe these are uh, uh, they look like a lot like a GV bag. I suspect they're probably made by GV. But uh, really nice saddle bags. They've got uh, the panel here on the front and the little strip here that is color matched to the bike. This bike is uh, metallic spark black so it's a metallic black. Don't have very good sunlight today so it's probably hard to see. Uh, it does have the rear rack. This looks a lot like the uh, little uh, composite rack that we have on the Concours. Uh, LED rear tail light. A 180 in the rear. 180 17 radial tire in the rear and a 120 17 in the front. Uh, dual headlights, adjustable windscreen. So give these little deals a click. That windscreen will move right up. And just thumb screw them back down and boom, you're in place. And of course, you can move it anywhere. It's infinitely adjustable on that travel. You can tighten it up wherever you like it. Uh, it does have a little bit of a vent here to help reduce some of the negative pressure that you can get behind the windshield that will cause some buffeting. Uh, it also comes with a hand guard, so it has these aluminum and plastic uh, hand guards. Uh, the seat is nice and slim at the front. Like I was telling you, I didn't have a problem reaching the ground on this bike at all, and I think we owe a lot to a lot of that to the sl slimness of the seat here at the front. But then it's nice and flat here, so I really suspect it should be nice and comfortable. And it looks like it's going to be pretty good for a passenger too. It's pretty good size. Uh, the driver and passenger pegs have this rubber on them, so it should insulate some vibration for you there. As well as the foot peg brackets here are rubber mounted. So right in here on these mounts, that is rubber mounted. I don't know if you can see that moving or not. Uh, you can adjust your rear shock spring preload right there. So if you're riding two up, you can tighten it up. If you've got uh, stuff in your luggage and you've got some extra weight there, you can tighten it up. If you're riding solo or uh, without the luggage, you can soften it up. Use this Kawasaki's, uh, uh, what do they call this, a back, uh, I don't know, it's a lay flat. But anyway, by having the shock here, it's still a linkage situation, uh, which lets them keep the exhaust up high, which gives you some more ground clearance. Also lets you have a center stand. As you can see, it's on the center stand. A four into one, so you've just got a muffler there on one side. 
Uh, pretty standard controls, what we come uh, accustomed to on these uh, Kawasaki's with ABS and traction control. Got a selector switch here that uh, lets you uh, toggle through the dash. So you can just push this arrow to uh, toggle the odometer, clock, trip meter, average miles per gallon, all of that stuff. So there's trip meter A, trip meter B, average uh, miles per gallon current, average miles per gallon, estimated fuel range, clock, and then your odometer. This bike has one mile on it. And then right down here is your power mode, so full power and low power. Low power reduces the power by down to about 75%, plus reduces the uh, how hard the throttle comes on. So it uh, will also make the power delivery smoother. And then your traction control, you've got the, the three traction control modes, uh, mode three, mode two, and mode one. Mode three being a rain mode, number two being mostly what I use for street riding, and the number one being for aggressive street riding, and then, number, and then of course you can turn the traction control off. But uh, digital readout on the speedometer, and then an analog tachometer there check engine neutral, all the stuff we've come accustomed to. Looks like you could add a 12 volt power outlet here or here or both places. Um, it does have hazard lights um, as well as the passing light here for the uh, to flash the high beam. Uh, it does require premium fuel so 90 plus octane fuel on these 5.5 gallon gas tank on these but I'm really digging this bike. It's uh, really be a great bike for commuting it'd be a really great bike for touring I really think it'd be comfortable for all day riding it's a great bike if you're uh, getting some twisty roads it's got radial tires you know ABS traction control uh, it's got great power uh, so it'd be really great for that and uh, uh, I think it would be fairly comfortable too up I think uh, you could add a backrest or to a trunk with a pad on this for your passenger real easily and uh, but I think this is just a Turing machine. I'm really, really digging this motorcycle. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a real light feel, very easy to drive, very comfortable to drive. Uh, let's go ahead and crank her up for you. We don't always have our bike serviced, so we can't always crank them up, but this one we can. So it's fuel injected. It's pretty quiet, so we're not gonna hear a whole lot. But... Four cylinders, nice and smooth. But uh, like I said, just really digging this Versys 1000. Uh, really pleased that Kawasaki finally brought this one over here for us, and uh, and so far I just really love it. And I, yeah, the quality is really good. The Kawasaki quality is fantastic. They're building the best bikes they've ever built right now, and uh, they're just fantastic. All right, that's a look at the 2015 Kawasaki. Versus 1000. We are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we would just love it. If you give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.